Hi there, my name's Larry, and welcome to another Christ Church of Jackson video devotion. I wanted to take a moment today because it is 9-11, September the 11th, and just uh, mention uh, that this is the 23rd anniversary of 9-11, and uh, so many people passed away, 2,900 uh, people uh, lost their lives on that terrible day. And so we should remember that. And also be mindful of the fact that there are first responders out there every day in all branches of law enforcement, fire service, emergency medical service. They're out there laying their lives on the line, giving up their time, inconveniencing their schedules just to help keep us safe. So if you see a first responder, uh, thank them for what they do. And... Uh, Keep a good memory in your heart for all of those who uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, 23 years ago. It kind of brings me to the point that uh, this is kind of a dangerous world sometimes. Things can be unpleasant. Um, way low on the scale of things being dangerous and unpleasant are some of the things that you see in the woods. You're out wandering around in the woods and uh, you come across all kinds of things. Thistles, thorns, irritating plants, and that's what I wanted to talk about today, an irritating plant. Poison ivy. You're probably familiar with poison ivy, and you've probably been familiar with the old saying, leaves of three, let it be. That's a good rule to go by. Some people are allergic to poison ivy in various degrees. Some people, it doesn't bother them at all. But uh, the best thing to do is to leave it be. Now, poison ivy is, uh, there's not much use for it. There are some animals that might eat it, but um, unfortunately, even during this drought that we've had this summer, we've been able to raise a flourishing crop of poison ivy. Um, unintentionally, but we've got poison ivy climbing some of the trees up 30 feet high. It looks really good. And uh, it's funny how weeds can flourish even when uh, crops are withering in the fields. But uh, I thought I would use poison ivy as an object lesson today to talk about a scripture that uh, is found in the uh, Gospel of John. If you look behind me, you can see poison ivy on this tree. Now, not this. That's just a hickory branch. But if you see up this tree... That dead vine, that's poison ivy. Now I'm gonna tell you why that vine's dead. Down at the bottom of the tree, at the base of the tree, as a plant grows up the tree, the, the poison ivy vine grew up the tree, I cut out a section about that big of that vine. I just cut it out. That cut off all of its nourishment, cut off all of its resources. And once that, was, that connection was broken, the vine withered and died. And that reminds me of the scripture when Jesus was talking about a grapevine, but it could apply to any kind of a vine. Jesus said in the 15th chapter of the book of John, I am the vine and you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. There's a little note in my Bible uh, without me could be even be interpreted as severed from me. Severed from Jesus. I don't know if you've heard the song. You may have in Bible school. You may have uh, sang it before, but it's a little song and it goes like this. You know, he is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. Had all the motions and everything, remember? He is the vine, we are the branches. His banner over me is love. Now, those little simple songs like Jesus Loves Me, that song, have tremendously profound truths in them. And we shouldn't uh, disregard them just because they're songs that we sang as children or children sing today, because there's a valuable truth there. He is the vine. And we are the branches. Jesus said 
that he's the vine and we are the branches. And if we break our connection with him, if we sever that connection from the vine, we're just going to wither like this. We're just wither. In your Christian walk, as you follow Jesus and you try to live the right way, it is imperative that you stay as connected and as close to Jesus through prayer and Bible study as you possibly can, because without that connection, it gets awfully tough to live in this dangerous, uncomfortable world. If we sever that connection, even by that much, we lose our strength, our nourishment, our our spiritual nourishment to help us to grow as Christians. So it's critical that we cultivate that connection with the vine so that we as branches can bring forth much fruit. Now, the day is moving on, and I know you've got a lot of things to do. I don't want to take up a lot of your time. I know you're itching to get started on growing closer to Christ. So with that being said, I want to wish you a good day. Hope that you have a wonderful week, and we look forward to seeing you again. God bless you, and goodbye.